Okay, so let's look at one like number nine. Now let me first remark that when you do eight, nine, and ten, the answer seems to be off by um, 30 or 40 dollars, something like that. So realize as you get these, if you're off by a lot, you probably got the wrong answer. But if you're off by just like 30 or 40 dollars, something like that, um, there is something wrong with the answer key, the way this is checking things. So I'm going to have to um, grade these by hand. But let's go ahead, and that's 8, 9, and 10 that are doing that. The rest are not. So let's do number 9. Um, how much must be deposited at the beginning of each quarter in an account that pays 6% compounded quarterly so that the account will contain $29,000 at the end of three years? So we are saving here. And let's notice we've got compounded, so we should think of the savings annuity formula. All right, so I will go ahead and bring this information over. I don't think I can, maybe I can copy and paste it. That would be nice. And we'll bring that over to a new sheet. And better open a new one. All right, now, since we're going to be doing savings, let's grab our savings annuity formula, and I do have that open somewhere. Um, that's the payout. There it is. Savings annuity formula. Okay, now let's identify everything that we have in here, and then we will start dealing with this equation. So we want to know how much must be deposited, so we're really looking to find out what D is. That's our unknown. We're going to do our deposits each quarter, so that means that K is quarterly will be four times per year. And our interest rate is 6%, so that is R is 0 0.06 and we want the account to contain $29,000 now that is the future value of the account that is our P sub N and then three years so that is our N and it's three all right so let's plug in to our formula. P sub n will be 29,000. We don't know d. 1 plus r is 0 0.06. k is 4. Raised to the 3 times 4 minus 1 over 0 0.06 divided by 4. All right, now, um, let's continue. 29,000. We need to do little parentheses first. So 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 4. And that's going to end up giving us 1.015. And let's multiply together our 3 times our 4. So it's 2 to the 12th power minus 1. And all of that. And this part, remember, is 0 0.015. So we don't have to redo a calculation. And then let's take 0 0.015, or 1.015, and raise it to the 12th power next. And that gives us 1 1.9561817. One. And we want to subtract our 1 off still. Now we'll go over 0 0.015. So we get 29,000. D. 
and we'll subtract our 1, so we'll just really get that decimal. 0 0.1956181171 over 0 0.015. And now let's divide these two out. So, I get 13.04121143. And then let's divide that on both sides to get D by itself, and we will have the amount of each deposit. All right, so D is going to be equal to whatever this is when we put it in the calculator. 20, or really um, $2,223.72. So if we look back over here, just notice when you check your answer in um, My Open Math, um, this is $21.90, which is uh, around $30 away from the answer we got. I don't know what happened in there. Uh, algorithm to get the answers over here, but somehow a mistake was made. So just realize that your answer will be close, but you're not going to get what they have, and I'll go in later and correct those. Um, let's go to number 10, and I think I have room on the same visit video. So find the present value of, annuity, of an annuity if $1,100 is paid to you at the end of each month for seven years if the interest rate is earned at a rate of 4% compounded monthly. All right, so you're getting this money, so it's going to accrue. You you can think of it as you're saving it. You're going to have this money. So you're not paying it out. So this is still a savings annuity. So we're going to go ahead and plug this in. looks like I can copy this, so I will. Go back here, and we'll put it on here. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, so $1,100 is paid to us at the end of each month. All right, so we're getting, this is going to be our D. We're getting it every single month. Um, so we're going to go up here, and our D is going to be 1100 Go ahead and write that down. We're getting it at the end of every month, and it's compounded monthly, so K is 12 times a year. Our interest rate is 4%, so 0 0.04, and we're going to do this for seven years. So we've got piece of N. Um, and we're going to have um, D on top. So if we go to our formula, it's going to be D first, 1100. One plus R over K, so 0 0.04 over 12, raised to the NK, raised to the 7 times 12 minus 1 all over 0 0.04 divided by 12 all over our r over k okay so just filling in to that formula all right so let's work this out we've got to do little parentheses first 
So 1 plus 0 0.04 divided by 2. This will be 1.00333333, lots of threes repeating. Let's see, put as many as I've got in my calculator. Four, seven, it looks like. And um, 7 times 12, we'll go ahead and make that the 84th power, minus 1. And then remember, your 0 0.04 divided by 12 is really that decimal without the 1 in front of it, so we don't have to do that extra computation if we don't want to. All right, next we've got to do this number to the 84th power. So we've got to do our exponent. So we'll still have our 1100 out front. But when I do this to the 84th power, I get 1.32251386413864 minus 1 over that decimal and let's go ahead and subtract the one up top And then lastly, we can put all of that into our calculator at once. So 100 times the 0 0.3225 divided by the 0 0.003. All right. So 100 times 0 0.3225138864 divided by 0 0.00333333. Three, 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 three. And we got 96. 75 and uh, 42 cents and again uh, this one was one of those that the answer is not generating right in my open math so if you're close um, you, you should be okay there